with storage behind it. They've even, <laughs> sorry. Hey, happy campers, it is Savannah with Cookville RV and Marine. And today we're gonna be taking an inside and outside look at this 2024 Grand Design Reflection 270B in. But before we get started, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that bell notification because we have a lot more floor plans heading your way. Now, let's get started. Starting out on our outdoor entertainment space, we do have an awning out here. This awning starts on the left side of this door and goes all the way to the end of the camper. And there is an LED strip under that. So if it is a little dark out here, you're gonna be able to see with ease. We also do have a couple 2024 upgrades out here. So we have our entryway, a nice set of stairs over here and an upgrade. They've given you a new handle right here. This handle does go down lower and it is super sturdy. So if you have folks with mobility issues that are coming to the campground with you, they're still gonna be able to get in no problem. They've also given you a leash hitch over here. This is for your dogs, cats, other animals. Anything on a leash, you can hook them up right here so they can enjoy the outside space with you. They also have a curved skirt bottom on the bottom of this reflection. This just is more of a safety thing. So if any dogs or kids are running around and kind of get under this, they're not gonna hit their head. It's gonna be nice and safe now. Also, there is no outdoor speaker out here. They have done away with that for this 2024, but don't worry if you still wanna listen to music outside, you can just bring a Bluetooth speaker and it's no problem. And there's one more cool thing out here. So let's move on down here and check out the outdoor kitchen. At the back of this reflection is our outdoor kitchen. This one is a little different and a little fun. They've kind of split it up. So over here on the left side, we do have our mini fridge. And then over here we have our griddle and this actually pulls out so you can cook right here. This is fun and just kind of spaced up so you can have a lot of people out here cook and have a party. Now let's check out the storage. Down here we do have our typical pass through storage. This is a nice large space, perfect for all of your outdoor items. They've given you an easy to clean out floor down here. So if things do get dirty at the campground, it's no problem to just wipe that away and get it nice and clean down here. Also over on that side, we do have our convenience bay and that is where your battery disconnect and all the hookups you're gonna need at the campground are over there. Now, let's move on to the inside. When you first walk into your reflection, over here we do have a couple of 2024 upgrades, so let's check them out. Starting off, we do have this molding right here. This molding just makes it a little bit more cute in here, just an aesthetic feel, really nice. Also, this window right here does come prepped for a lipper thin shade. So if you do wanna add that on, just give it a little bit more shade in here, you have that too. And a fun thing about this, this is a reinforced screen defender down here. So if you have some dogs or some other animals that are gonna go to the campground with you and you have this open, they can scratch at this and run into it and it's not going anywhere. It's nice and reinforced. So those are your upgrades. Let's check out why this is called a BN. BN stands for breakfast nook. And over here we do have our little breakfast nook area. Up above, we do have our control panel right here. This is where you control your lights, your awning, and your slides. Up above, you do have your Travel 5 paid for Wi-Fi. It's kind of a pay-as-you-go system. Ask your salesman a little bit more about that. We do have more storage over here. You have some see-through glass right there so you can see what's up there. A little bit more storage down there. And this cubby hole area right here, this is perfect as a little charging station. They have given you an electrical outlet and a USB and USB-C port right there. And then down below, we do have our breakfast nook area. This is your breakfast nook or your dinette, whatever you wanna use it as, but you have plenty of room right here. You also have this table, a window, and this added little mirror, which is a fun little touch. Now, let's check out the rest of the camper. We do have a couple of 2024 upgrades. So starting out up top, this molding in here is an upgrade and it's very nice. Just kind of a more aesthetic look, very cute. Also the flooring down here, this is the floor of your slide and they've given it more of a seamless look. So it doesn't move up or anything. It just looks like it blends right into the floor. Also in the side, we do have our theater seats. They're super comfy and they have lots of function. This comes down, it gives you a couple drink holders right here and a nice little area right here if you wanna set some plates on. We also do have some settings in here. These feet come out and you have more cup holders on both sides with a light option, a heat option, and a back massage option. We also do have some views over here with our windows and let's check out this fridge over here. Also in our side is our refrigerator. This opens up giving you plenty of room for all of your groceries and it's very nice to look at. There also is one more 2024 upgrade in this area. Down below, we do have a dog bowl. So if you're bringing your dog to the campground with you, they even have their own place to eat. Now let's step over here into our kitchen area. And in here we have lots of things. So over here you have your pantry doors. 
These open up, giving you lots of room for things. These go all the way back here, and you have enough space for full-size cereal boxes, so that's a nice plus. Over here, we do have our sink, and they've given you a drying rack up here with a retractable sink nozzle. You have see-through pantries up here. This is perfect for all your glasses or your plates. You can see in there and see what you have. Down below, we do have some designated storage. They've given you a trash can down here so you can easily slide that in and have your trash out of the way. You even have this nice little open area right here. This is perfect for some sponges, maybe a little cleaner cloth, whatever you want right there. And there is another upgrade in this area. This is some designated silverware storage. So they've just made this a designated drawer for all of those things. Moving on, we do have our typical three burner stovetop with your splash guard. You have your oven and a nice drawer down here. This is good for some pots and pans. It is kind of on the shallow side, so there'll be smaller pots and pans, but still you can put some things in there. More storage up top and to the left and a nice large drawer right here. You also have tons of countertop space and let's check out that entertainment area. Across from your theater seats is your entertainment area. They've given you this nice large TV and it is on a swivel so you can move it around and multiple people in the camper can get a view of that. You have a little bit of storage up at the top that is open storage so you can fit some things in there and easily see those. We have this nice little catch-all area. This is right by your door. So this is perfect to throw your bags in or maybe some keys or other items you want right on the go. Down below, we do have tons of countertop space. This is technically your entertainment area, but it is attached to your kitchen. So if you kind of want a buffet running through here, you can do that. We have a nice large drawer right here. You could fit some board games in here, DVDs, and maybe even some books. More storage on both sides and down below, we do have our fireplace. This works as a light option or a heating option for those colder winter months. Now, move on to the bathroom. In our bathroom, we have a medicine cabinet with storage behind it. Perfect for all your toiletries. They've even given you this nice open spot down here. This is a good place for your toothbrushes and your toothpaste. Down below, we do have our sink with countertop space and an electrical outlet. So if you wanna bring your straightening iron, down below that, we do have a little bit more storage down here. You can easily stack all your toilet paper in there. And they've given you a couple of drawers off to the side. On the other side of the bathroom, we do have another cabinet. This opens up, giving you places for all of your towels. And you can even hang a towel down on this bar below. And down below that, we do have our step to flush toilet. Moving behind me, we have our large shower. There isn't a skylight anymore in here. They were kind of having some leaking issues with that. So they did away with that and now you just have a ceiling in here. The shower is pretty roomy and that there is tons of head height in here. They've given you some built-in shelving for all of your soaps and you do have this nice shower head and it is detachable. That gives you a little bit more ease to wash your hair. And this shower in here is a deeper shower, not a bathtub, but there is plenty of room to stand in here and it can fill up with a little bit of water and it's not going out into your camper because who wants that? Nobody. Now, let's check out your bedroom. Your bedroom is located at the front of your reflection, and as you can see, it is so gorgeous. They've given you a queen size bed with this nice little blanket on top. Back behind me, we do have lots of storage. There's some overhead, and they are pretty deep. You can throw some bags in there, some shoes, whatever you really want in there. On both sides, there is more storage, and over on the bottom sides there is a little cubby hole that opens up you can throw your books in there maybe some chargers if you want that tucked out of the way you do have a nice little top on there so if you want to set a glass of water there before a bed there's room for that back behind me there is a shelf and on both sides you do have an electrical outlet and right here they've given you a usb and a usb port so you can charge your phone right when you're going to bed as well and i know you're wondering is there a place to hang up my clothes there is let's go over here and check it out across from your bed is your closet area this is a nice large closet and they have given you a hanging rack in there so you can hang some things up down below that there is four drawers this is perfect for all your socks underwear or anything you want to fold up so if you like this reflection or any other unit in our grand design line, make sure you give us a call or visit us at kovalrv.com where your adventure awaits.